Good morning guys, welcome back to a daily vlog. I haven't filmed a daily vlog in forever. I've been doing, kind of doing weekly vlogs a bit sporadically. But anyway, today's gonna be a daily vlog. I'm very excited about it. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel as well, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I always forget to mention this, but we are actually almost at 100K subscribers, which is just so exciting. Um, and also make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. I'll link my Instagram down below. Um, but yeah, I actually have had such a productive morning. I went to PT this morning, bright and early. I had the 6 a.m. class, um, sorry, session with Steph. And then um, what else did I do? Went on my morning walk and then also went and got my lashes and brows done by Sherelle at Miss Lash. So they're all nice and fresh, ready for the weekend. Very exciting. It's Friday today, by the way. Um, so I got that done, got some groceries. And then I had a shower and I did actually film my current morning like skincare routine. Um, this step is like not something that I do all the time. You guys will see I talk about it a bit more in the next little segment. Um, but yeah, I'll insert it now and then it kind of like explains everything anyway. I just got out of the shower. I would usually do my skincare in the shower, but obviously I'm not going to bring you guys in the shower with me to show you my skincare. Um, but I've actually been using the Boa exfoliant for a while now and I love it. So I want to show you guys how I use it. It's honestly like the coolest thing ever. Basically it removes all of your dead skin cells and I just noticed the biggest difference in my makeup going on really nice and smoothly whenever I use it especially because I've been really naughty over the summertime and I keep getting burnt on my face I feel like it just like helps to give me a really nice clean surface when I first started using it I'd use it every day um, but now I only use it like once or twice a week so I haven't done it in a few days so I wanted to show you guys how it works so this is the product here it comes in this little like push situation i'll show you guys so you can like push it whenever you need more but honestly it goes such a long way there's nothing else like this on the market currently and usually you just wet your face but i like to just wet like the end of it and then put it on so yeah basically just rub it into the skin well apply it I just got my eyebrows done, so I'm not gonna do the top of my forehead too much. I look so funny, it looks like I have no lips because I accidentally went over my lips. Anyway, it's really easy to do. You literally just rub it, and what it does is it's gonna create little balls on your skin, and it's not actually the product, it's actually your dead skin cells. So it's just exfoliating those dead skin cells off your face. And the reason you can tell that it's not the product is because if you go in and do this a second time, there's not going to be any of the little balls or less little balls anyway, because I've already exfoliated it off my skin. You guys see those little balls forming? It also just helps to clear and smooth out your pores as well. Now that that's all done, I just go in with one of these little pads and just wipe away any of the remaining product and then I'll just go in with my cleanser as well just to really get them nice and deep cleaned now that the exfoliating step is all done I just go in with my normal cleanser I just use the DMK deep pore cleanser just to get an extra cleanse in but yeah my face always feels so nice and clean and fresh after this. I actually first heard about it on Matilda, the owner of Stax's um, Instagram, on her stories. So I actually bought it and tried it. And yeah, I really love it. Very up close and personal here this morning. And then this is my skin in more natural lighting. So like you guys can see, it looks really nice and smooth and clean. Absolutely love this product. I will link it below for you guys. Anyway, I am starving, so I'm gonna make breakfast. I am so excited for this breakfast. I haven't had it in so long. Like, literally, just so excited. Food just makes me so happy. Really sad, but our cleaners, like, I don't know what happened, but they, like, I can't find their Instagram anymore, and I've looked on, like, multiple accounts. Like, they usually come every Thursday, which is yesterday, and they didn't come. And then I went to look up them, look them up on Instagram to, like, See where they're at and i couldn't find their account like i don't know what's happened to them they've just like vanished into thin air so it's a bit depressing i actually dropped one of my meals like one of my pre-made meals on the floor yesterday and it went everywhere 
and we don't have a mop and the cleaners were meant to be coming like an hour later and I was like it's fine cleaned up like most of it pretty much all of it but like the floor still needed a mop um and they just never came so I'm like I don't know so now I'm gonna have to go buy a steamer or a mop and like mop the floor myself which is so fine it's not a problem I just can't believe how clumsy I was like I literally like took it out of the microwave and it just like flung all over the floor all up the all up the doors all up the cupboards it was it was a mild disaster There is just something about avocado on toast with salt and pepper. That's it. That is literally just the best thing in existence. Um, so yeah, I just have a gluten-free muffin with some avo and then salt and pepper. And then I also just made myself a protein smoothie. So I just have some berries, um, ice, unsweetened almond milk, and then also some Naked Harvest protein powder. I'm just using the cake butter flavor. But I'm just gonna have breakfast now. And then I really wanna sit down and chat to you guys for a little bit. Breakfast was so good. It's exactly what I needed. Um, but yeah, I wanted to sit down and chat to you guys. I feel like I haven't spoken to you sit down style in uh, forever. And I feel like even though I've been doing like weekly vlogs here and there, I feel like they're just like a little bit all over the place and they don't really fully make sense. Um, but yeah, it is the end of January almost. Um, it is the 20th or the 21st today. I can't believe it's literally almost the end of January already. Like I just, I feel like New Year's was last week. Like I don't know where the year has gone already. It is definitely true what they say. As you get older, time just flies by. So if you guys are really young watching my YouTube channel, live your best life, make the most of it, take in the slowness, honestly. Um, but yeah, basically end of January, lots has been happening. I actually wanted to talk to you guys about the new year's blues even though which kind of like makes no sense considering it's now so far into the new year now um but yeah basically the first it was kind of like a weird like period between like christmas and new year's for me because the weather was like really down i was sick um i don't know i just felt like in a bit of a funk and the weather really really affects my mood and i feel like a lot of you guys were feeling the same like a lot of people that i spoke to were just feeling really down and like even with the new year like i feel like everyone just like wasn't really prepared for it they weren't like super excited like they usually were and everyone was just feeling like they're in like a little bit of a funk um and i was definitely feeling that as well so even though i live a very beautiful lifestyle i have a beautiful apartment loving boyfriend cute dog amazing family and friends i was just feeling just like really like blah it was because i wasn't like training um from being sick and then yeah i was just feeling like super down and i just think it goes back to showing what is truly important and i've always been the biggest believer in this like you can have all of these nice things but nothing makes me happier than a beautiful day down at the beach with my friends and family just enjoying each other's company um so yeah i feel like that's why i was feeling really down but it was a really good reminder to me and also i was like so bored because i had scheduled that week off of work as well and i was so bored so i was like bored not feeling the best wasn't working out i was just like i had nothing to do and like nothing was making me happy so as soon as like um, it wasn't the New Year, like New Year's Day, but the second the Monday came around, I was like, no, Ali, you need to snap out of it. I went to the gym. I went on my morning walk outdoors. I ate really clean that day, and I just felt on top of the world. It's just really important to get back to basics. So I guess that is the point of what I'm trying to say to you guys. If you are feeling down or feeling like you're in a little bit of a slump or you're not feeling yourself, literally, just get back to basics, and I promise you, you will feel amazing. You'll feel reborn. You'll feel like you can take on any anything for me personally it's obviously different for everyone um but yeah my back to basics i guess is just really making sure i'm prepared for the day for the week for the time ahead so i'll make sure that i 
have all my goals written out, things that I need to accomplish. Like I'll write out a task list of everything that I need to do. I'll do like a massive brain dump of everything that I can possibly think of that I need to do. Um, even if it comes down to like tax stuff or like nitty gritty things or like contacting the bank and just like random things like that that I don't really need to do or it's not like a rush but it's things that I do need to still do eventually or if it's like getting the windows clean just like random tasks like that that aren't really like a must do now including your must do's as well write all of that down if you're feeling like a little bit scattered write it all down and then you can sort of go from there and honestly writing things on paper just makes everything so much more efficient um so then yeah from there I'll write down what I do on the Monday Tuesday and so on and just get it all nice and detailed making sure you're moving your body it doesn't need to be a crazy intense workout just something that you enjoy doing whether that is going for a walk outside or if it is a crazy intense hit session whatever it may be eat wholesome foods i was eating so poorly the week of christmas or new year's and i genuinely felt depressed like food makes me so so happy but i was feeling so depressed because i just felt really sluggish and gross and nasty um so yeah i feel like foods are meant to be enjoyed on a rare occasion like naughty foods so follow that 80 20 rule and then you'll actually enjoy the naughty foods so much more like i feel like if you're having naughty foods all the time it's not enjoyable because you just are feeling really gross and yucky and you're used to feeling that way like getting the high from the dopamine and stuff so it's like if you're eating mostly whole foods and then being naughty 20 percent of the time you'll actually enjoy it so much more so that's another tip drinking enough water i wasn't drinking enough water honestly back to basics going to bed on time waking up at the time i wake up little things like that so yeah that went on a little bit of a tangent and there was no real direction in what i was saying um basically just word vomit but i just want to share that with you guys if you have been feeling down in the slumps a little bit i know it's almost almost feb but yeah just get back to basics take your time with everything and you'll get there i love you guys um but i did actually get some very exciting packages as well that i wanted to show you for this i actually already opened i have a heap of other packages that i haven't opened yet i have been waiting for this damn bowl for pretty much since we moved in actually so it is the like concrete style orion bowl from pottery barn I'm not gonna lie the quality isn't like amazing like it's kind of i guess it's meant to be the vibes though and like it's got like heaps and marks and stuff i thought it was gonna be a little bit smoother but i do still really like it so that's gonna be like the centerpiece bowl for our dining table once it comes our dining chairs are actually arriving today too which i'm really exciting about excited about um and then our dining table is arriving in like two months so still a little bit of a wait but yeah i absolutely love this um and the reason i bought it was because i actually wanted to make like a giant candle out of it but i think i'm gonna leave it as is i might order a another one and then make that into a candle just because it's like risky you know like what if i stop it up and i waited this long for it they also do it in black as well and because we're getting black chairs like dining table chairs i reckon it'd be cool to make the candle in black and then put the black like the black candle maybe on the coffee table or on the tv unit just like a really cool contrast and like colors sticking with the homewares theme i got some more display books i'm so excited about these Oh my gosh, it is so cute. I didn't realize it was going to be this small. It's the cereal one. Um, and yeah, this is Paris. I got a few different like cities, places to visit. I just think, oh, so cute. I love looking through all of this sort of stuff. Mm, so, so gorgeous. I cannot wait to take Jake to Paris. He's never been and i've only been once um and it was just the most magical beautiful city so i got that one and then i also got the london one and then of course i had to get new york city jake and i's favorite place ever we're actually going to book a trip i know it's probably like too soon to say but we really want to book a trip for um christmas and new year's with my brother and his girlfriend so like next year obviously um so i'm very excited about that and then this one, I am so, so, so excited for. Oh, isn't she stunning? I'll show you guys properly. Architectural Digest. So there's like heaps of architectural um, designs in here. Oh, 
it's obviously sealed but i'll show you guys it in a moment but yeah i love like the color of this display book love like the neutral tones and i'm very excited That's what it looks like on the side um yeah to style these i was just looking through some of this oh this chris jenner what do you mean that's hilarious and there's actually the most beautiful photos in here like that one i'm so excited to look through this my birthday outfit also came i can't show you much of it this is all well, I'm showing. While well, I'm already busy vlogging today and filming, I figured I'd quickly try on all of the upcoming Kelly Sun pieces that are dropping this week. So we actually have this collection dropping on Thursday, the 27th of January at 6 p.m. Australian is the Sands time. If you guys want more info on like a deeper review on everything, check out the green ribbed haul. I will link it down below. This is just going to be like a really vague mini overview. Um, but yeah, it's dropping this Thursday. We have limited stock available we won't be restocking this collection either the green has sold so well especially in these two styles so for the off-white collection we're only doing the focus top desire bottoms and then the classic top and the freedom bottoms that you guys will see in the next i'm gonna try that one next um but yeah it's in like this really beautiful off-white ribbed fabric so it's the same fabric that we used for the green collection so if you guys do get your hands on the green and then this is the exact same fabric so we have adjustable straps on either side i love the fit of this top it's like really sporty and cute and comfortable you could also wear this with like denim as well like this looks super cute with um like denim jeans or something that just came to mind but yeah it's really really nice really supportive and i wear a size extra small so you can wear it with a bigger bust um so yeah like i said i'm an extra small and this one fits me perfectly um so yeah this is probably like the better option if you have a bigger bust um because you do have the adjustable straps as well and then this is the front of them here i did just eat so i'm feeling a little bit bloated right now i might not look it i might <laughs> i might look it i might not i can't really tell because the kind is like so small but yeah this is our, they're kind of like seamless bottoms in a way um so yeah they're really nice and thin perfect for tanning i love this combo together it's just such a vibe um this is honestly probably like my favorite combo to wear at the moment but yeah i love it in the off-white colorway we did actually sample this in like a pure white as well but the off-white just looks so much better so much more of a vibe and yeah, i'm obsessed with it then we have the classic top i wanted to try this on the desired bottom so you guys can see how they look together love uh, this top as well it's super comfortable so this is our only style with removable padding that's dropping um so yeah it just has the adjustable tie back and then also the shoulder straps as well it's such a cute little dainty top and then these here are our freedom bottoms these are our best-selling bottoms i think it's because they're just completely adjustable and you guys love anything adjustable and also you guys love anything that's super cheeky so yeah we have our freedom bottoms in the off-white ribbed of course um so yeah these ones are in a size extra small if you did watch my green ribbed haul you would have seen that i was wearing the size large and they still fit me as well so Basically, with the Freedom Bottoms, there isn't much of a difference. There's only a little bit more fabric per size. Um, and then the length here is a little bit different as well. But basically, if you are in between sizes, I would recommend sizing up. Or if your size does sell out, then size up one to two sizes and you'll be completely fine. Um, because they are super adjustable, you just gather them more in or you can expand them out if you want more coverage. And then that's the bottom of them there as well. If you guys do want to save on launch day, you can use our discount code ALLY20 at the checkout and you can save 20% off we won't actually have an early access for this launch we did that for the green collection because it was a limited edition very in high demand color um but for the off-white ribbed it'll still do really well but it's not like it's popping as the green so there won't be any early access it'll just be 6 p.m on the dot first in best served wow dining chairs just arrived i am so nervous <laughs> to unbox them every single time i've ever filmed jake and i unboxing something we've unboxed it and it has been a complete disaster and i've never used the footage and it's been kind of traumatizing so should we unbox it on camera or <laughs> just like not jinx it no it's all right we'll do it do it to be honest I can't show our address that's why i have to know we don't look here i'm gonna put it up I'm so nervous. So basically they're the little black like dainty ones because we have all of the black, um, like the black on the windows and stuff. 
And right, let's see. we have like his like oh. black accents. How many did you get? Six. Oh. Yeah. Is it connected? Oh. I don't know. Should we... oh, you got this. I think I'm gonna like them. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's un unstrap her. Unstrap it. Unstrap it, yeah. No, I like it. Do you like it? I mean, that's gonna last about. Yeah, two what? Weeks. That fabric is terrible quality. Oh. Well, I, so I got black because I didn't want it to get dirty really easily with everyone sitting on it. Because there was like three play ones. What do we think? These office chairs? Don't. So hard to tell when you order online. I just realized that I haven't shown you guys my cute little outfit yet today. This will have already actually launched by the time this video goes live. But in case there is still anything in stock, my discount code is Ali. Um, so I've got it in the green and then I also have it in the blue as well. And the um, blue is really, really cool. It's like an electric vibrant blue. And I love the Saski shorts so much. These are actually designed to be like mid or low waisted. They sit kind of high on me though because I'm a little shorty. Um, but yeah, this is like the oversized tee and it's like really comfy. For lunch, I'm gonna attempt making this. I've had this saved in my Pinterest for ages and I think I'm gonna finally do it. I was in a rush this morning. Oh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I did go and get groceries and I totally forgot to get coriander. I'm assuming that's what that is or like parsley. So we're gonna have to do with that. And thanks to everyone going crazy with the grocery shops at the moment, grocery shopping. I don't know if it's either people going crazy or we're just not getting stock in, um, like the grocery stores aren't, but there was no salmon with the skin off. So I'm gonna have to use the skin on salmon and then I'll just take it off. Um, I used to love the skin on salmon. I'm not like obsessed with it really anymore. I don't know, I have my moments. But yeah, I'm gonna make this salsa now. So I just have mango, red onion, um, the other half of the avocado from breakfast and then some capsicum. Oh my God, what was that? Wow, he sneezed. Did you guys hear that? So cute. Um, and I made my coconut rice already. So that's on. My fish is all done. I ended up cooking it in some teriyaki glaze. This one here is my new favorite. So good. And I ended up finding some mint in the fridge. So I added some mint to our little salsa there. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but this looks amazing. It would actually taste so good with pineapple as well. Um, but yeah, so yummy. I just added on, I'll grab it for you. Um, I just added this the rolled chili mayo on top it's actually not too bad um so yeah just added that on top and going to devour also i spoke to my mum about the chairs and apparently because it's real wool it's actually really good quality so i think we're gonna keep the chairs she said that they'll last and yeah that's what real wool looks like apparently i don't know <laughs> why is he so camera shy mm, no no. I'm lucky. You know that? Look how comfy he is. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm just doing the back end stuff of my weekly vlog from last week. Um, Finalising it, ready to go live. And Jakey brought me a coffee. He went and got his car cleaned, so. He got me a cold brew. The cold brew from Starbucks is actually really good. Oh, I keep spilling things everywhere, so I'm just like a bit nervous. I just spent so long online browsing for, not for myself, I already have my birthday outfit, but trying to find links to things for the girls because so much stuff is like sold out from the places 
we prefer to buy it from so we've been looking everywhere else but yeah just spent so many hours doing that and it wasn't productive at all um but yeah i'm gonna make dinner now pasta i'm very excited that's my love you guys could hear that <laughs> it's like making weird noise Noises. For dinner, I'm just going to make this ricotta and spinach pasta. I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I'm just gonna have some crushed tomatoes with it, a little bit of tomato paste, add in some parmesan, parmesan, and oh, and some spinach as well. The ravioli is all done. I just added in some tomato paste to do its thing, and I'm just gonna add in a whole tin of. Um, crushed tomatoes and then I'll just add in like some salt and pepper and then probably some garlic and herb seasoning and the spinach as well maybe some chili flakes because I love a little bit of spice okay I'm gonna try and get this over without spilling it dinner is served that looks absolutely incredible i'm gonna sign off the vlog now thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next youtube video bye